going on? How's your family? How is everybody? How, how are they dealing with this? Since, you know, last week, you know, I've been crying every day and, you know, it's just really, really emotional for me. My family is, is fine. They actually are involved in a lot of humanitarian help. The, the videos um, on TV showing what is happen, happening in Ukraine and the, all the distractions and it's just disturbing, you know, for everyone, I think. Are your, are your family okay? Are your friends, are they safe? Yes and no. The Belarus city where I was born, my friend lives there. We grew up together and his wife is Ukrainian. His daughter went to college and she worked in uh, Kharkiv, which is Ukrainian city, which is currently being shelled. So she left a few days back, made her way to a uh, Polish border, and we lost contact with her. They couldn't get her on uh, Telegram or the, or the uh, you know, or Skype or whatever, and I couldn't. But mm-hmm. she came up uh, this morning, That's and apparently there was, a, yeah, there was a problem with SIM cards and all that stuff. When I, she crossed. I heard something about that. Yeah, but, but she did cross. As of uh, today, um, there's like over 700,000 Ukrainian refugees um, in Poland that have arrived. From the day of first day of Russian invasion, you know, last week, Poland opened up all the borders for all those people who flee their country. They set up the reception points along the borders. They provide the arrival of drinks and food and uh, medical aid, like anything they can do, you know, to, to, to help those people. Do you have any sense of how we can help? Uh... What immediately is needed and will be needed extremely much, much at the, at the higher level is uh, medical supplies. And when I see this uh, impacts at the uh, apartment buildings and, you know, old women babushkas just uh, on, on, a, on, a, on a side box bleeding out and other people just, just putting rugs on them. Because they just don't have the supplies. They don't I mean, have... If they... people have this stuff, Okay, tourniquet and all that. It's it's like momentary need. Yeah. yeah number one is the medical supplies, and the second thing is uh, baby food, baby, uh, you know, formulas, um, uh, clothing for kids. You know, because that's what the people who fled. You know, are mostly women and children. We sent some money. My daughter, she's actually some kind of an artist in uh, <laughs> in Maine. She organized some kind of a exhibition, and she she sold her stuff like several thousand dollars worth, and she donated wow. to those things. Wow. Yeah. My cousin is actually on the way to a, a border right now. He actually sent me two pictures and a video of the ambulance, you know, and um, yeah, I'm just proud of him. You know, he's he's just a great person, you know. Yeah. yeah. My country is United States. This is home. This I can't do nothing about that. I can change my country, apparently. But this is home. I cannot change that. Yeah, yeah. I am so proud of Polish nation and they donating food and you know other essential to people you know they offering their homes as shelters there was a lot of you know differences between Poland and Ukraine the day that the war started right all those differences just just went away simple human you know compassion has emerged